Creating grids using the multi-segment tool. Let's say I want to build a grid line that is crooked um, because maybe that's the path that uh, our building's taken. It's not a rectangular or radial shaped building. So we're going to go and make sure we go to our architecture tab. We go over to grid. When we get to grid, you notice in the draw segment, I have a segment called multi-segment. I'm going to select it and I'm going to come down and I'm going to um, click on a start point. So I'll pick down here uh, and I'll pick and I'm going to go up say uh, uh, 10 feet. Uh, say 10 feet and I'm going to go off on an angle at 135 degrees and I'm going to go say 10 feet. I'm going to go over another 10 feet at 45 say 10 I'm going to go up another 10 feet and then 10 foot and when I'm done I'm going to go up and I'm going to finish my edit mode and notice that I want to turn on the bubbles on both ends I'm going to zoom in a little bit since it's vertical I'm going to give it an A alright updates both of them now let's put another one in I'm going to go over to grid I'm going to go multi-segment grab onto it I'm going to come over 20 feet in my to create my bay and then I'll go to 20 feet and I'll start I'm going to go up the same 10 feet I'm going to go over say 10 foot I'm going to go over say 10 feet at 45 degrees and I'm going to go up 10 feet and I'm going to go up and I'm going to finish the mode I'm going to turn on the bubble, the grid line bubble and when I'm done it automatically put A in there now I'm going to create say just some regular ones at this time I'm going to go grid and I'll put some lines in I'll put some horizontal lines in here I'm going to go across I'm going to turn them on both and I gotta change this now because this is horizontal right so the horizontal ones uh, I want to go with a number so I'm going to go with a one hit enter I'll hit escape now I'm going to create another one grab right onto it and I'll go up say 20 feet Oop. There we go, 20 feet. I could zoom in a little more, that might help. 20 feet. And I pick. I'm going to go across. I'm going to hold my shift key down so I only get horizontal or vertical lines. And I'll pick. I'll turn on my bubble. And then I'm done. I can hit escape. And you can see now I've created here. In this case, I created uh, grids using the multi-segment, which this is the multi-segment. It's kind of like a polyline, multi-segment. And then I actually went backwards and said, okay, let's just do one by drawing lines, which are the vertical ones. And we can get a unique uh, grid shape by doing that that way.